Hello everyone. So today I will show you how to use the stack cable combined with two switch. And before using the stack cable, I would like to explain you why we use the stack cable in the switch. As you know, when you do not use the stack cable, means that you use standalone switch, Akata switch. The bandwidth is uh, two gig only. So if you need more bandwidth on port, you need the license. But if you don't need the license, you just use the stack cable. Stack cable means that uh, you can free up to the bandwidth up to uh, 10 gig, free license up to the 10 gig, and it is easy to manage. As you see now, we have yes, there are two switch. The switch one is ID number one, and the switch two is ID number three. So before we use the stack cable, we mean that we, before we plug the stack cable to the switch, we have to change the ID. Make sure we have to change the ID to a different ID. So in here, the switch one is ID number one is okay, but now I plug the console, yeah, plug the, the cable to the laptop, USB to the laptop, and network to the console for the switch number two. I will change the ID from number three. Switch number two is now the, in ID number three, so I will change the ID number three to number two. And then we start to open the program name OT, and then we use the serial port and COM3 and open and input the username the default is admin and the password the default is switch password and if we want to see the how the ID number if you want to check the ID number you just use the command so VLAN port you see the uh, three slash one, three slash two, three slash three, three mean that uh, the ID is number three. So I want to change it to number two because there are two switch in here. The first switch is number one already, so I change the second switch to number two, and then I will plug the, the stack cable. I will do the stack cable case. So now let's change the switch ID from number three to number two. And to change it, we use the command like this: command uh, stack set slot three. Because uh, we want to change from number three, ID number three to number two. So slot three, sale, uh, and then that's slot two, like this. And then uh, reload. Yes, you press buy, mean that uh, you confirm to reload. And then let the switch is uh, restart and then reboot. We will check again. Okay. Okay, so after the switch reload, now we can see the ID number three change to number two already. And we like, like need to see inside the switch, our switch. So uh, uh, I log in again. Use the username. Like the default is admin user and the password is switch. Oh, sorry. Maybe wrong the password, so I log in, log in again. Okay, now we can see, we saw the VLAN port, we will see 2 slash 1, 2 slash 3, it means that the ID is number 2. And now start, yeah, now we start to plug the stack cable. So after we reboot 
after we plug the stack cable all and restart our switch all, now we start to log in to see how is the configuration inside. Put your username and password. Uh, admin. Default is switch. And then so we land port. Okay, you see. So like this, you see. This is uh, the, the switch. ID 1 slash 1 until yeah, 50 port, only 50 port. Thank you very much for your watching and please leave the comment if you have any question. Also, please uh, subscribe my channel to get more update video. Yeah. Thank you.